Hello and welcome to Meanwhile, back on the hobby farm. Hey, do me a favor. Lower right hand corner, that little red tab there, it says subscribe. Can you just click that for me? Really helps us out. Been busy the last couple days over here. The weather's been nice. It was in the 80s today. It's going to be in the 80s. Is it tomorrow again? I forget. I lost track. No, yesterday and today. 60s tomorrow, then back in the 70s after that. But anyway, we got some severe thunderstorms heading our way this evening. So I've been uh, busy. Um, I took this a, a horse I'm gonna say it the Midwestern way a horse not a hus feeding station which is you put the hay on the top and you put the grain in the bottom well we don't need that because the horses have a, another one a different setup where, the, where we board them so I took our old one that we had and I cut the legs off and so the goats could use it because I've been using this, I call it the gutter system, even though it's a drain pipe, I split it in half. I can fill this up. While I'm filling this up, the goats mob me, and then when I go over there to fill that one up, they all leave this one and mob me again. So that wasn't working. So as you can see, um, the problem over here is when I fed them earlier today, they're, they're, um, I think they got Fruit Loops tonight. They, uh, they were going inside the tub hogging all the food so the other ones couldn't even get their head in there. So what I'm going to do is normally these three bigger ones, and I say bigger ones, including Santana here, Pork Chop over there, Simon, and Butch, uh, there's no chance for the smaller ones to get in here to eat. So what I do is, like this one here, so what I've been doing, I'm going to actually put the small uh, Captain Tennille's food in here and stand behind them like a bodyguard while they get to eat all that because these big guys hushed them out of the way. As you can see, we've got some pumpkins on the ground. Beautiful day out. Uh, like I said, it was in the 80s. Very muggy, though. Um, no frost yet. We haven't even, we've only been in the 40s one day, and that was a week before Labor Day. I uh, put a whole bunch of straw down here the other day because... Uh, they, we had a couple inches of rain over the course of a few days. And if you folks remember what this ugly thing used to look like, it's still ugly. But it was a kind of a tower thing, and the goats had chewed the wood off of it. So I dismantled it all. I put some pallets on it just temporarily. I threw some hay, I'm sorry, some straw on the bottom. And the reason why I did that is during the daytime when the chickens are out here uh, and there's predators flying up above, um... Uncle Henry will make out his screeching noise and they all need to go undercover. Sometimes they're not going to have time to make it back to the coop. So I have this over here. They go underneath there. Plus they stand underneath there on, on sunny days to get out of the sun if it's too warm for them. I think what I'm going to do up here is just for the winter is I think I'm going to just take this top layer off. I'm going to put some plywood. so expensive. I hate to do it. So I might just use some cedar strapping so they don't get their legs caught in there and make a platform on there, maybe a small steps out of concrete, let the goats get up there during the daytime. I know the chickens are gonna to wanna to sit up there and on top of the hay rack to kinda of get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Got the little pond that's still going over here. I don't know how good the lighting's gonna be. I have the flash on here and it's it's dark and it's only what, 7.35 and it's already uh, this dark out. Eat your hearts out, people in Boston. I know it gets dark out an hour earlier. As you can see, everybody's doing good over there in the back. You really, well, you can see on the other side of the fan is actually, yep, she's still there. That's black sheep. I fed her an egg earlier. Uh, she loves her eggs. So um, anyway, everybody's hunkering down in here. I just gave a little bit of feed, and I normally don't feed them at nighttime, but the afternoon I gave them a little bit of snack. I didn't have time today to do it. So I gave them a little bit of, of feed, but very important for the ducks, they have to wet their bills before they eat. Uh, it can create a lot of health issues for them if they don't. So I did fill up that water that's in there. Normally I haven't been filling it up because they've got the, uh, the little pond over here and I've got a couple of buckets up here where they can um, drink out of. We're gonna come back over here. I had worked so hard on this early spring to set the setup for the goats. I put this little doggy motel over here, and they used it until I opened up the, the front paddock area where they are now. They used this. I took a tote, spent a couple of hours cutting up a hole, put some straw in there for them. I put this igloo over here. I built this whole shelter top. Guess what? They don't even use it. Um, normally, when this gate's open, they can have the, uh, the room for the back 40 to go back there, but unfortunately, um, 
because of the pokeweed. I've uh, blocked it off this summer. But we're going to keep the shelter there. All this other stuff is going to go inside the horse lean-to, which is now the goat lean-to, because that's where they hunker down at nighttime. So I'm going to put them in there. Um, I don't want to just have them sleeping in there in the middle of the winter inside the, uh, the lean-to. And um, it's too big. Uh, they need they need small confinement to maintain their body heat, especially if a couple of them are sitting next, laying next to each other. So that's why I'm going to put the small shelters inside the big shelter, so that'll keep them warm. Hey, Captain, how you doing? See, Captain with the bad leg doesn't have too good of a chance of eating out of that hay over there. So I threw some hay on the ground just for my friend over here. So he doesn't miss out because of the bad leg. He can't stand up and the other ones push him out. His coat is gone very nice. Thank you, Amber, if you're watching. I remember uh, you, you came over, you gave him a shot, and I've been giving him the minerals. And uh, his coat is starting to show some sheen to it now, which is good. I uh, didn't have that. He had some issues. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, it was him. It was him. I was thinking it, it might have been uh, Tennille. But anyway, folks, uh, you can see I've been kind of busy today. Uh, nothing new in the homestead. Still working the overnight gig, which I hate, but that's coming to an end. Um, hopefully around the holidays, right after the holidays. Uh, so I can spend some more time with my critters over here. Of course, yours truly has to end this and go in and eat and take a shower and uh, take a little siesta before he goes in for his overnight gig. Hey, Captain, are you joining the fun? Yeah, Captain doesn't have much of a chance, especially eating out of that trough when I put the uh, snacks in there in the morning at night. He can get some hay, I guess, on the sides over here, but these other ones are bullies. Look at this pig over here. He's a pig. Take care, folks. Have a good day. Bye.